As the investigation continues into the disappearance of Anna Walsh, tonight we're learning new details. Yeah, NBC 10 obtained a police report for all, uh, from almost a decade ago filed in Washington, D.C. In it, Anna says Brian Walsh threatened to kill her and her friends. The report also says Anna did not cooperate in the prosecution. Anna's husband is currently in custody, accused of misleading investigators in this uh, current case in Cohasset. Anna's Cohasset community gathered to show its support this evening with a vigil. People are concerned about Anna, worried about her kids, and still trying to figure out what just happened in their community. NBC 10's Michael Rosenfield is there live to take us through the emotion of tonight's vigil. Glenn, this really was a very meaningful event for so many people who came out here this evening. About 100 people were here on the town common in Cohasset tonight to pray for the Walsh family. Through music and prayer, the Cohasset community came together Thursday night. We come to you this afternoon as one community praying for and with the Walsh family. Anna Walsh, who hasn't been seen since New Year's Day, lived in town with her husband and three boys. Lord our God, be with the Walsh children in this time of uncertainty, fear, and confusion. Religious leaders say Thursday evening's vigil on the Cohasset Town Common was meant to help the community, which is struggling under the weight of Anna's mysterious disappearance. Many are dealing with anger, horror, and grief. My heart breaks for them and, you know, what she might have gone through. There were candles, a minute of silence and prayers for Anna and for her three sons and hope that the children will be able to face the challenges that have been thrust upon them. I hope they're not confused. I hope someone's helping them work through what's going on. They're missing their mother and their father. The father, Brian Walsh, is charged with misleading the investigation. Prosecutors say he wasn't truthful when he was questioned about his whereabouts in the days after Anna vanished. Investigators have found suspicious items like a hacksaw in bloody towels, but they haven't said if they're connected to Anna's disappearance. When one of us is in trouble or is hurt, we are all touched. The vigil, a moment to step away from the headlines. Thinking more of Anna and her children, less of the the horrible details of a possible crime and more focusing on um, who is missing and the impact on the children. That This vigil really was a grassroots effort. Local residents here in Cohasset went to their clergy telling them they just wanted to do something and three churches organized the event tonight. Live in Cohasset, Michael Rosenfield, NBC 10 Boston.